hey there welcome again to another video and in this video i'm going to do a complete overview or a demo video of social snap pro plugin and i will tell you what settings uh, uh, currently i am using with my website and why i am using that particular settings and again uh, this video can be also considered as a review of social snap pro as i'm going to uh, talk about every details and problems that i have faced with uh, social snap pro so let's begin uh, as you can see this is my home page and i don't use any social share plugin on my home page because i want to keep it as clean as possible and also i want to uh, utilize the call to actions for example here i use this uh, box for lead generation uh, or uh, newsletter uh, subscription and similarly i use this area to uh, generate social media followers uh, by the way i'm not uh, using the feature of social snap pro to create this this is a manual uh, design that i have created and then there are blog posts etc so i'm not using the social snap uh, pro or uh, any social share plugins on the home page and uh, let's go and uh, let me show you first so this is one of my blog posts about make money online through blogging as you can see i'm using the share buttons in the sidebar you can click on this button to close uh, the social share plugin uh, buttons here and also you can enable by clicking on this if you are uh, not interested to see the so, uh, share buttons while reading or don't like it uh, as it distracts you so there is an option to close uh, the social share buttons that is something i like uh, because a lot of times uh, you don't want any distractions but uh, in this post i'm using sidebar as you can see i'm uh, using their uh, social followers features as well on my sidebar and it is showing total followers here uh, i think for these four platforms and not the other ones and uh, the youtube twitter and instagram and facebook all are uh, connected to my accounts uh, that's uh, that means it is uh, counting the numbers with api so th these are not a manually entered number they are actual number that are coming from my page uh, through the api functions so that's nice uh, as you can see the social follow thing you can also uh, customize this with custom colors and stuff if you want uh, although i don't think it can be designed uh, like this i will try if it is possible but i don't think it, it can be designed uh, like this at least at this point of time so that's why i'm not using it on my home page and i also use it uh, at the end of my blog post but by the way this click to tweet buttons are not from social snap pro although social snap pro also supports the click to tweet buttons i haven't used them anywhere uh, yet uh, that feature so these are my inline button if you have noticed i do, uh, don't use it uh, at the top as well uh, that uh, also because i don't want to distract people uh, they are here to read the article and they should start before sharing right and when they are done with reading the article then you, they can share the article so that's the reason i don't use it at the top and i only use it at the bottom of the article and i haven't enabled the share count as you can see here for each buttons because i thought that was distracting i find it uh, distracting that's why i haven't enabled the share counts here and i also haven't uh, spaced them uh, uh, used the space between options uh, because that was uh, distracting as well and there are multiple designs and animations as well and i didn't use them uh, because they weren't uh, distracting too and as you can see uh, this uh, inline button also uh, doesn't show it by default the uh, social uh, share count uh, for individual buttons but when you hover over it then it shows this way it looks uh, cleaner which is a great thing i really like this plus button options for uh, social snap pro which opens 
a lot of options for people who wants to uh, share to other networks so that is pre uh, pretty nice here so this was one of my blog posts and this is again another blog post and as you can see i use same setting for each pages by the way it can also be disabled for some pages or post if you don't want to show it to that particular page or something like that they have a setting for that as well we'll talk about it and as you can see i don't use the on image button that can be enabled as well because i don't use i did i think that option is uh, suitable for photography websites and stuff like that but this would also uh, you as you can see this is one of my page uh, about page and i don't use it here either because i want to tell a story here first and then show some testimonials and etc and there is a clear to call a clear call to action so that's why i don't use the social share button here as well let's close this uh, page and then this is the resources page that i have created and uh, i wanted to cl uh, keep it as clean as possible like the other uh, any other pages so that's why i don't enable uh, i haven't enabled social snap uh, anywhere on my pages i have enabled it for blog posts only as you can see and this is one of my blog posts where i wanted to enable the uh, on image uh, feature but uh, i as much i know it is not possible to enable uh, the on image sharing buttons for a particular page as this is a infographic post so i really wanted that feature to be available here but uh, social snap uh, do not have any option to enable a particular uh, i mean the on page image button for a particular page or something like that so that's not possible that's why there is no share button here as well but it would make a lot of sense to include that here although i can't because i have disabled that globally and it cannot be added on individual pages uh, particularly so that's not possible so i wanted to do that here but i cannot do that here so if uh, anyone from social snap pro or social snap team watching it then it can be a future feature that you you would try to you know release so keep that in mind and let's go to the settings things uh, settings and options right now so i'm basically going to my wordpress dashboard then social snap and i'll i will show you the settings uh present inside uh, this social snap pro or uh, dashboard or panel whatever it is i mean options so the first option is social sharing which lets you enable uh, the networks so if you if you can click on if you'll click on manage networks option then you can select the network that you want to show or hide here uh, by the way these are my preferred uh, platforms that i choose and if you want more then you can click on this uh, add network buttons then you can click uh, like this to add them or click again to hide them as well i don't want any more so i want add but let me show you a uh, uh, interesting thing uh, if you can see on my blog posts here then i uh, you can see only facebook twitter linkedin and pinterest button but if you look at my settings then i have also enabled pocket and telegram so they are only enabled for mobile websites as you, uh, and that can be done using this visibility setting device visibility setting which is pretty awesome so as you can see i have uh, disabled telegram on desktop and enabled on mobile similarly i have done it for the pocket uh, share button here as well and i have disabled i think pinterest on mobile and uh, linkedin as you can see so i have disabled two two options uh, from the list uh, here uh, for mobile devices and two of them for uh, desktop devices uh, to make it uh, uh, more uh, powerful or more profitable or valuable so as you can see there is a button as well for force refresh of the share counts and 
a facebook share account provider this is a option where you can choose facebook graph api social snap app or shadecount.com as option to count the social shares that is happening on facebook i particularly use facebook graph api to collect uh, the share uh, count the share count on my website and i'm using uh, i was trying to uh, count the twitter share with open share count but it wasn't working so i switched to click tracking uh, to track my twitter uh, share counts and there is option tra track share clicks to get uh, share counts for networks without apis so some of the networks uh, are not uh, uh, does not provide any api things uh, api options to track the number of shares so that in that situation uh, the program or social snap pro will use uh, the clicks as a method to uh, track uh, track or count social shares so it, that can be enabled by enabling this button otherwise it won't count any share uh, hap happening with that button or provider and this is a print test browser extension feature that can be enabled if you are using a browser extension pinterest browser extension that it can be useful but i think no um, most of the uh, people would not be using any ex uh, pinterest extension so i don't think this is so helpful but it can be uh, for some people so basically it uh, it adds a hidden image which will be shared with pinterest browser extension uh, if uh, if pinterest browser extension is used so that is something available here and let's go back and see the other options floating sidebar which i have enabled as you can see here so uh, when you, you can click on this button to enable and click on this button to disable obviously and the sidebar position i want it to be at center left you can also make it top left or top right or center right or whatever you want i i personally feel that uh center left is the best choice for me so i kept uh, kept it here and there is option for button saves as well as you can see there is a round button but uh it it's looking clean here but when you load uh with the blog post here i kind of feel distracting with the other shape or uh, this uh, circles or rounded shape and circle shape and this rectangle shape looks quite uh you know old kind of design so i don't use this one because it looks kind of old and i don't use circle option because it it's uh kind of distracting to me and that's why i don't use this circle option i prefer this rounded option which uh, looks modern while it's not so distracting as well so that's the reason i use a uh, rounded button shape and the button size i'm using here is large because i have lots of space so i want it to be large and the regular or small sizes are too small i guess that's why i'm using the large button here and as you can see display on options is uh, where you enable where you want to share for example i haven't enabled it for home page as you can see if i'll check check mark this then that, that then that will mean that the home page will also load the share buttons which i don't want i have only enabled for post if you want to enable for other categories as well you can enable by checking them like this so i only want them for my blog post and nowhere else so i have only enabled blog post as you can see now there is a button spacing option as well I, as i told you so if you will enable this then this will create uh, this uh, space between all the buttons and now this is also looking uh, great here in the preview but it will it also uh, i also find it uh, distracting while looking at the post uh, here it looks kind of distracting when you use uh, this uh, spaced or yeah spaced buttons here on the blog post kind of distracting so that's why i don't use the button spacing as well otherwise it looks cool as you can see just like the circle buttons but 
it's kind of distracting and I don't want any distraction I mean already I already have a lot of distraction distraction why would I want some more okay uh, you know so that's why I don't use uh, the fancy designs I only use the basic but modern design network label tooltips this is basically the text as you can see when i go to the twitter button uh, it also displays our text uh, as a tooltip here twitter so that is uh, enabled as you can see in my social save buttons if you disable it it won't show i personally feel that it should be enabled and then there is total share can share count button uh, and i use this for social social share proof otherwise i would have in, disabled it as well to remove the uh, to minimize the distraction not remove because that can't be removed while i will be using ads and sidebar as, uh, and stuff like that okay the share count button i have disabled the share count as you can see the share count will open the share counts for each social network and that is too much distracting if i if you all ask me i personally feel that it is too much distracting and that's why i don't use uh, the share counts for each each network or individual network hide on mobile i definitely want to hide it uh, the the floating uh social share option i definitely want to hide it on my phone or mobile devices so i have disabled it uh, i mean enabled it hide on mobile option and the view count is basically the traffic stats and i don't want it to be displayed obviously minimum share count i have kept it one i'm okay with that and entrance entrance animation uh can be set as fade in slide in bounce in okay this was bounce in this is flip in i personally feel you should keep them as minimal as possible fade is good enough but i personally feel slide in as it looks modern and it is not that you know distracting total share count light text uh, you can change this text to light text if you, you are using dark kind of backgrounds then you can enable this button to uh, make this text a uh, lighter color or white color kind of white color as you can see it changes the text color of the total share count and you can also enable custom colors if you want like this but i personally prefer the original colors of the social networks let's go back and check the other settings this setting is for inline buttons as you can see this is the inline button then uh, that i have chose chose to use on my website i have i'm only using it below content but you can also enable above and below content but i would recommend using only below content because above content kind of distracts or ruins the purpose of you know reading the blog post you already have one in the sidebar sidebar then why would you use one i mean one more in this place if you don't have a floating sidebar then it it uh it, it can be justified but if you are already using a sidebar like this then i don't think you should be using that on top of your blog post use that below your uh, blog post or content alignment i use personally stressed uh, and you can also use center like this left or right as well i personally feel stressed is better for me and i use share label text like this share if you care with a smiley face as you can see so this is my personal favorite i mean personal phrase i created this phrase personally for me uh, and every uh, if you will see that uh, see on blogs then everyone is using sharing as carrying uh, the phrase for the social share label so i kind of made it my own by simply tweaking it a little bit and i have written share if you care with a small uh, smiley icon to you know kind of 
uh, insert my personality here okay then we have this button save options you have the rounded option which I used to uh, use on this blog while I was use when I was using social warfare free version then there is circle option which is not my favorite as I said earlier then there is rectangle option which kind of looks old and then this slanted option that I use again there is button size option as well I kind of feel small is better here and then button labels this network label if you want to enable like this Facebook Twitter and think like that and if you want to only enable share count then this will look like that if you will do none then nothing will appear I kind of feel that both is better here again the display on option to display it on uh, the choice of post types or pages so I personally feel that I on, I will only need them in my blog post so I haven't enabled it anywhere else only on my posts I have enabled it only on, on my posts block displays full post instead of post excerpt this settings enable this option if you are seeing share buttons code in post summaries so that's why I have enabled this button and then uh, remember if you can remember I don't use the uh, button spacing on this floating share, bar, uh, share buttons but uh, if you can see this inline button then I use uh, the button spacing because the reader will have finished the article then this button is coming so I don't think this is uh, distracting and it looks great so that's why I'm using the button spacing here as you can see that uh, if you use the uh, I mean if you disable the but button spacing that doesn't look that good but when you enable it looks good and it's not uh, that distracting because uh, the article uh, is already finished so that's why I have enabled button spacing here and then again I have in the, uh, disabled it on mobile because I because it uh, takes a lot of space screen space let me show you so the say if you will if I'll enable the share button then that will be like that will take kind of this much of a space which I don't like so that's why I don't uh, like the floating button at the bottom as well so that's why I don't enable it however the uh, social warfare button was pretty good and I had enabled that on my uh, mobile devices but social snap pro inline buttons are not that good so that's why I have disabled that and then there is on media option that I had talked about so if you will enable this on the uh, on and then uh, choose share if you choose share button then all the buttons that you have selected will appear uh, on the uh, manage network option and then if you will only select Pinterest option which I kind of feel uh, relevant then you will see a Pinterest save button here which is uh, which looks pretty cool if you are using a photography website or something like that this will be super helpful for you and like I already said if I could have enabled that for a single page or single image that could have been awesome but that's not possible you uh, this is a global setting and you cannot uh, choose to do uh, disable or enable this fu uh, function or feature on a particular post or pages so that's kind of disappointing but it is a uh, good feature for sure and also you also get these options the same options for designs here as well and the uh, obviously the regular stuff and you can make the share buttons always visible like this or on hover I personally prefer that prefer on hover button obviously because people would like to see all your uh, I mean your complete image uh, obviously so that's why I prefer this on hover on hover option 
you can also select the position as you can see and this is minimum image width where uh, width and height where you would like to display this uh, button i have set this value to 300 by 300 that means if an if an image is less than 300 by 300 uh, re resolution then that image will not uh, display the share button and this is the display option you can also enable button spacing if you are using multiple buttons hide on mobile uh, if you would like to hide on mobile pinterest image source image under the button uh, which makes sense and pinterest description source custom from post slash page setting which is good uh, this uh, by choosing this you uh, uh, enable something inside post let me show you if you select that uh, option then you will have to edit stuff here as you can see you can also disable uh, so uh, the buttons as I said on particular pages or post if you want this is share recovery URL option if you want custom tweet so if someone says then this tweet will appear automatically then Pinterest image which will be uh, also work there with the Pinterest um, uh, extension browser extension Pinterest description share target URL and then social snap meta basically the title description etc and upload image video and that's it so these were the options uh, inside this post editor inside the post editor for social snap let's go back i don't want this to be enabled so let's go back share hub basically share hub is the uh, share hub appears here i have disabled it you might want to enable it so this is share bar i also feel that this is also you know uh too fancy for me at least so i disable it but you can enable it if you want and the similar options is options are available for this button as well let me disable it and then there comes sticky bar option which stays uh, below uh, mobile devices which I already said I don't like and it's uh, not uh, I mean social warfare buttons are better than uh, social snap pro when it comes to mobile sticky bar then this social followers option you can also enable the network share uh, for the follower thing basically this stuff here so I have enabled this few these uh, options here and the default settings can be selected from here the button size button column and stuff button spacing vertical layout total followers options uh, in this example this is a particular vertical layout that I'm using you can you know increase the column to two three four whatever you want as you can see like this enable vertical layout then this will become like this which is cool as you can see but personally I don't need it so I have this default setting uh, by the way you can customize this uh, on every single pages if you want whenever you are adding with sort codes as well and by directly using the button uh, button or feature as well then comes this click to tweet thing which I haven't used but it can uh, you can see the preview here this also has various features uh, include via username which is here as you can see and this is Siddhi for the twitter account for Siddhi Mantra podcast include page link obviously hide on mobile why would anyone want that so it's okay disabled so these are the styles available
this is better than the uh, designs that are available with tribe architect but i haven't used it yet i would oh this is a great one good one because it's animated this one is good i will keep this one so this was click to tweet then there is social meta option where you can enter your you know social details i haven't edited it yet for some reason and social identity which is the same thing but for followers or something like that i guess and then comes the advanced option analytics tracking so i have enabled that uh, this google analytic tracking options share count recovery options are available here so if you have changed your domain and stuff you can uh, recover all your social counts and even if you have switched from http to https or switched from triple w to non triple w or vice versa or even if you have changed your url structured structure as you can see here let's go back then there is an option for link shortening i use bitly to sort my links before getting shared and this option is uh, if you are migrating from any other plugin then this is the option to migrate plugin migration option and i was using social warfare before so that's why these options are available here and I, you can click on these buttons to import the setting i have already done a video on this uh, before on my youtube channel so you can see that video if you want to see complete process and this is the plugin data option i have removed the powered by snap social snap link hide uh okay so these are basic options doesn't worth talking about it gdpr compliance so if you use i mean if your site is gdpr com, uh, if you want to make your site gdpr compliant then you might want to disable these options okay that was pretty much of it and there is also import export settings options available here if you want to do that and there are also add-ons available for social login which i am not using yet i will make another video about that and this is boost old post option basically sharing then social auto poster this is also sharing but i don't know what's the difference between them but i will make a separate video for each of them so wait for that so this was pretty much of it uh, how i use the social snap pro or what features they have and stuff like that by the way i was talking about the problems as well right so the problem was that this is a hook okay uh if you use any premium thing then you will understand so this share uh, i mean subscribe section here is created using astra pro hook option okay so the social share count was appearing here as well i mean just below the subscribe button and button or the section here so the uh, social server uh, was option was appearing here as well and it was appearing on my make money blog let me open it to show you guys so if you use thrive architect then you will you will know this so thrive architect architect has a pop-up builder which is called thrive lightbox so i use thrive lightbox in this post uh, below yeah here it is so this option will open a lightbox as it, uh, if you'll click here so this is the lightbox that i use and the social share buttons were uh, buttons were appearing here as well so finally they actually didn't solve the issue but provided a temporary solution so the global setting here doesn't work or uh, the uh, those were inline buttons right so let me show you so as you can see i am not using uh, i haven't checked it 
uh, for Thrive Lightbox or custom layout layout option. So technically, they shouldn't appear uh, here or or uh, here as well. So technically, they shouldn't appear just like now, but uh, it wasn't disabled. I had to go through my light box and custom layout options individually and i had to disable that uh, inside post editor for example i will have to go to this edit section i mean post editor options and then i have to disable it from there then what's the point of those global settings right so this is one of the issue that i found with social snap and the support team is a uh, kind of slow if you ask me uh, i mean takes more time then it should take i guess there should be a there should be a faster option or for support team but for i mean support should be faster but it's uh, a little bit slow at this point of time and this is a bug or whatever but it doesn't work you have to disable it uh, on each page or light box or custom layout whatever you create you have to go to that page and disable it uh, one by one instead of that, that or those uh, global settings because they don't you know, don't even work so this is a bug i guess or they haven't paid attention to it but it doesn't work so this is one problem that i found that it uh, you have to disable it uh, individually on every light box or custom layout options if you use them otherwise the global option doesn't work so yeah that was it so i have already talked about everything that i could have talked about it so this is uh yeah this is it and let me know how you feel about social snap pro if you are using it or not if you are planning to buy it or not by the way if you are planning to buy it the link will be in, uh, available in the description and you can also watch the previous video for installation and migration process of social snap pro from social warfare so that's it for today and uh let's meet in the next video thanks for watching